So in this video, I want to go through some examples of writing each of these in the form of log of k, so the natural logarithm of k. So for our first example there, natural log of 12 take away natural log of 3, we can use the quotient rule to write that as the natural log of 12 over 3, which is the natural log of 4. So in this case, k equals 4. For the second one, we have 4 times the natural log of 3, so using the power rule, we can write that as the natural log of 3 to the power of 4. And 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So that's the natural log of 81. For number 3, we have the natural log of 8 plus the natural log of 5. So using the product rule, we can write that as the natural log of 8 times 5, which is the natural log of 40. For number 4, we have 2 times the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 6. Now, before we do anything, we must use the power rule to bring the 2 up to the power here. Okay? We can't use the product rule straight off the bat. You've got to deal with the 2 in the front of the logarithm first. So this is the natural log of 2 squared plus the natural log of 6. So that's the natural log of 4 plus the natural log of 6 which is the natural log of 4 times 6, which is the natural log of 24. OK. Now, number 5, we have 3 times the natural log of 4. Take away the natural log of 1. Now, bring the 3 up to the power first. So we have the natural log of 4 cubed. Now, natural log of 1 is 0. OK, so um, the reason for that is remember that the natural log of e to the x is x. So here we've got 1, so e to the x would have to be 1, and that's going to happen when x is 0. So you have the natural log of e to the 0 is equal to 0. So natural log of 1 must be 0. So you can either kind of think about that just Cancelling it out, it's gone, it's zero. Um, you could theoretically go, well, I can now combine this and say I've got the natural log of one, and then I'm going to ha use the quotient rule to write that as the natural log of four cubed over one. Okay, that'd be precisely the same. But I wouldn't really write that myself. I would just say what well, natural log of one is zero, so it's gone. So, natural log of 4 cubed is the natural log of 64. Okay, and we're done.